Hello there. Uh, I'd like to say good morning to you or good afternoon and uh, wherever you are. Uh, I managed to get in contact with a chap called uh, Isaac Freshwater and he, he's he been obsessed with uh, firearms since he was a kid and he started becoming a, an official collector. And uh, well, I think I'd better let Isaac tell his own story. Isaac? Thank you, Peter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like Peter just said, um, I've been into military history, collecting militaria ever since I was a young boy. I think a lot of you can relate to that. Um, and today I thought it'd be absolutely fantastic to get Peter down here and to go over some of the weapons that he spent such a long time, well, his entire career dealing with, uh, maybe share the odd story here and there. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just get the legal mumbo jumbo out of the way. So this is a deactivated firearm. All my firearms are 100% legal, completely complying with all UK law. Each one has their deactivation uh, certificates there. Um, and uh, this particular one is of an old spec deactivation, which is still completely legal to own in the UK. So it'll all strip uh, just how Peter remembers that they do. And um, hopefully you'll hear some interesting stories and uh, see uh, um, an SAS uh, legend like Peter McAleese himself doing what he built his uh, life doing. And um, Peter, I hope you get a little trip down memory lane through doing this and we haven't just got the Bren, we've got several other um, weapons as well that you would have read about in his books that he's described on many occasions and uh, hopefully uh, we'll all have a good time doing it and um, sort of spread the word a bit about Peter McAleese and hopefully maybe a, a new book one day, Peter, do you think? Thank you, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see and uh, yeah, so uh, brilliant, fantastic.